All right, people. Welcome back. More DM Do commentary. So we are joined by Lunar. Hello. And uh, hopefully this goes okay. Hello. Okay. I guess I guess my card images aren't, aren't loading. Yeah, the images not are not loading. loading. Oh, they just wow. got blue bars on. I know. Like they're trying to load, but they're not. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I guess this one's not working anymore for our images. That sucks. <laughs> back to the dark ages with us, I guess. I guess we'll stick with it for this duel, and then I'll try to get the other one and see if that one works better. Anyway, we have Emperor 16 here at 1197, and Traumatica at only 600 yeah. <laughs> 672. And we're seeing some Klee action. Like, okay. Some Klee, Necker Valley, hey, hello? Are you seeing, like, a, just a blue bar in the middle of the screen? Oh, yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> Hello, blue bar. It's like a candy cane. It's like when the fucking barbershop pulled it. Yeah, blue yeah, on yeah. Side. Just kind of cross. What the fuck is this? What is going on here? Like what we see on the card is now in the middle of the screen. Okay. You see that sweet card of demise. Though? Yeah. God, I mean, it's expensive. Like run that in Klee. But of course, oh my God, of course yeah, they're gonna, run, of course they're gonna run it in Klee. Klee's are well, they turned into more of a back row deck. They're not as aggressive anymore without yeah. Tower Turbo. So. You know, card of demise is like the rejuvenation of uh of uh back row. Like have you not seen OCG? Just triple pot duality, triple card of demise, triple uh pot of cupidity, and triple upstart with some chicken game, like <laughs> they don't give a fuck. That's that's the reason why they don't mind running like a forty seven plus card deck. Because they have so many cards that even them out or three sources or give them pluses that is it's like they're not even running uh that they don't mind running it like that. Ooh, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, and it looks like uh, Trom over here is playing some Blue Eyes, so. Alright. Uh, I mean, we don't have, um, was it alternate? Uh, I don't know. Um, why'd you get a search for Sacrifice? Don't, doesn't Scout, yeah, Scout has to be on the field to resolve its effect. You do not get that search, sir. No, you don't search. You pay, you gone. Like, as simple as that. No, you do not. You have to be on the field to resolve that effect, sir. Everybody knows that. Pendulum monsters have to be on the field to resolve their pendulum effects. <laughs> All right. Make sure you play it. All right, good. Another thing. Make sure you play it. Show the sacrifice before you shuffle it back in. Before you get that uh, deck tech game loss. All right. So, blue eyes. I just, I don't know. Like, maybe they had alternate, maybe, maybe I'm incorrect. Maybe they can actually do something, but I just don't see them doing much here in the, uh, in the TCG without, without ultimate. Yeah. It's just kind of, it's really lacking, and the Necker Valley is not helping either. I didn't even notice that because it was blue bar. No, no, <laughs> every card is blue bar. <laughs> yeah. All right. And there's, I know there's plenty of background, but there's definitely... This game is so much harder about pitches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, what that, what's that card? What's that generic field spell? You don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get it after this duel. Or maybe when they're uh, siding, maybe. All right, Ancient Stone. Damn, he's just going to scoop it up. <laughs> All right, we're going to pause, and I'm going to see if I can go ahead and get the other one. Bear back. All right, I'm in. Right. And there's pictures. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's pictures. So this man is playing all the cards. So he uh, activates a sacrifice, grabs that expensive ass monolith, uh, plays freaking into the void, party duality. Like this man, he don't give a fuck. He's like, I oh, fuck you. Yeah. I don't need a hand. I don't need a hand. There is Scout. You know, why does he care? And he could just go off. It's just he can't special summon this turn. So. It's gonna be interesting to see how you get every monster out of your hand. God, why is Ray Geki so expensive? Why is everything so expensive? <laughs> this game of Yu-Gi-Oh! is expensive. Like, for some, for no one playing fucking Cleaves right now, Monolith is even going up higher in price. It's like, what the fuck? Look at that. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> ah. It's crazy. Ah. <laughs> Look at that. This man's just going in. It's just a, I mean, he's playing freaking Card of Demise and Into the Void. I mean, 
<laughs> yeah. So you play into the void because you didn't pitch your hand. You play card of the and you pitch your hand. Like, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> All right, Trom. We got your card images out, so it's time to go off with blue eyes, right? I mean, you don't know decide to play this in rated, so show us what you got. Show us this, this next meta deck. I just don't see it. Like, ultimate is such a good fucking card. Alright. Hello? Oh. You kind of cut off there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Alright. Twin Twisters, clear out that back row. Alright, and it's time to eat some slime. Like, if you can summon spirit and banish that sacrifice, then you would have hell of an advantage right now. Ah, yep, yep, yep. That's, that's what <laughs> Hold on, about. is that Doom Shaman? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Damn. Damn, that was good. That was, that was exactly what you needed. Look at that. Twin Twister being yeah, an enabler. Yeah, this man is, uh, is out of resource. Yep, completely out of resources. Watch him draw a scale, a scout, or a scale. Uh... Yeah, so he can't draw another scout. <laughs> From it to one. Oh yeah, it's yeah. a freaking a scale that is. Damn. Is it... <laughs> it's it's... back again. Yep, spirit abuse, gone. <laughs> Just abusing yeah. the shit out of spirit. <laughs> Single so memory, summon spirit, vanish. Then it dies. <laughs> Silver sky, someone's back, vanish. Like, really? Like, are you that afraid that he's gonna top deck into something? Like, you could just respond on the activation of the pendulum scale, but all right. So, yeah, damn, that's over. <laughs> you went, to, you went to in emperor. You went to in. You had yeah, no man. back row, like none at all. I guess he's hoping you'd draw some instead of monsters. <laughs> Man, that's what you always uh, hope for when you play uh, Card of Demise. I think the Cleese and OCG run like like 10 to 13 monsters. Like, they don't run a lot of monsters. <laughs> Just now, it's, I mean, even if Pot of Cupidity was out in the TCG, I'm not even sure if that deck would run it because it's really risky to get your scout. But, of course, when it's that one, you can get it with number generators and what the fuck does it matter, right? Huh. <laughs> True that. <laughs> Has he had it every game? Uh, I think he searched it the last two games. Or, he searched it game one, I think, and then he drew into it game two. But yeah, he's had it on the field all three games. Ah, another uh, upstart again. Wait, you opened up with upstart again? It's not like it's at one or anything. <laughs> and this, this field fret by Emperor is a little bit scarier. A little bit scarier. There could be some lose one turns back there. There could be some selling strikes. Like, you don't even know. You got Twin Twisters? I know Blue Eyes play three. Twin Twisters, discard white spirit dragon, summon it back. <laughs> Banish the sacrifice. Mm. And which one is this? This is Helix. Helix is the one that pops the spell of trash. <laughs> yep, so. If you tribute that Helix, then. That back row will be popped. Oh, nope. Sphinx Woman Blast again on the scout. Again. <laughs> I mean, he can always grab it back. Damn. So he's playing Sphinx Woman Blast. He's playing Twin Twisting. He's just playing everything to fucking pitch. Get that blue eyes in the graveyard and then revive it. I mean, we don't even have Gospel yet. It's, yeah. I, I believe it comes in the Silver and Structure deck, right? Yeah, it does. So. That, that's even more of a boost. Silver's Cry, Gospel, like... Why did they make Gospel? Like, what the fuck were they thinking? <laughs> Stop true. doing Dragon's fucking shit. Like, thank God Dragon Rulers are banned, or they'd break the shit out of that, too. <laughs> Especially in Mermail. They used to share that title. <laughs> yep. What are you bouncing with Stealth? Your own shit. Alright, cool story, bro. Is stealth mandatory, or did you just do that just to do that? You can. So you just did that just to do that, I guess. Alright, cool. <laughs> yep, grab that expensive-ass monolith. God, why is that card so expensive? Yeah, Jesus. Hit him with that 18, hit him with that 28. 
and you get to draw a card during the end phase. Gorse? You gonna drop the Gorse? Trump. <laughs> Either take the, take the 18 or drop the Gorse or Trigodia, whatever you wanna play. <laughs> Just do something. <laughs> do something. <laughs> Just keep clicking. Two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> no, he's gonna be like, wait, don't you take 18 more? <laughs> nah. Nah, you may be the upper, but Trump's, Trump's not taking that shit. Hello? <laughs> oh, he's DT'd. I bet. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Alright. Well, oh, we'll get another duel in. Be right back. All right, people, we are back. So we got Emperor again, now at 1217 versus Zane 98 at 951. Uh, so hopefully he's using them cleats again. Hopefully he can show us another uh, powerful back row, lock you out of the dual victory. Like, <laughs> turning the control deck. We're seeing a little bit of performer power action. Opened up with that one uh, Skull Crobat Joker, so that's always nice to open up with, right? Yep. Number and got that oh, one the monkey, yeah, board. and the monkey board. Mm. I was kind of wondering why he didn't search the monkey board with the skull crowd, but if you have it, then you have it. <laughs> they draw and search. It's all good. <laughs> Get hella pluses. Get hella resources. Go ahead and search for that sorcerer. Second donkey. All right, that's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Oh, so it is a uh, Jacob house. Oh, okay. So dark Jacob house with the Armageddon Knight, I guess. I wonder if they're gonna add that uh, that uh, that cat. I mean the the moonlight monster, the the fox in with that lineup. Cause that plays kind of cool that Alexis brought up. Because she just said oh. that when she said to go up by a card effect, you can target one of your opponent's watch to drop it to zero, so you can just go on again, night center, drop it to zero. Is this a uh, arc five? Because I have not, I'm not up to date with that. No, no, I think it was a V jump. I, I want to say a V jump promo. But uh, you know the 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 Luna lights. Oh, okay, yeah, I know the one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you mean. Yeah. I mean, they already used it all dragon to send the pop, so. Just sitting there and saying, Alexis. Oh, it's because he said Alexis. I was thinking of freaking GX. No, not that Alexis. Ale our Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I just getting hella pluses. They ain't over here getting his deck all the way down to fucking less than, less than 30, and he hasn't even played anything that. Like Emperor does, like Paguati and the card demise and all that good stuff. Alright, gonna go ahead and go into Nightmare. <laughs> Raph? No, no. Uh, your Searchy guy. Your Pendulum guy, the Strickle Pow guy, right? I forgot his name. Yeah, that's, his, that's him, that's him. Paladin, yep. Yep, you gotta make sure you say the effect. You know how many times people just summon him, say nothing, then go to end phase and be like, oh, search, like, no. You activate the effect. <laughs> <laughs> yep, search that luster. Alright, good luck, Emperor. You got a battle ahead of you. I mean, if you could summon, like, Shell, like, Pendulum Summon 2, tribute those two for Shell, attack over them, that'd be pretty power. Alright. Clear into the void. Play your one upstart goblin. <laughs> Play your one pod dog. I guess uh, no sp uh, special summoning this turn. Hmm, you have to play fill spell too? A laser clip?
Dome Strike, I'm assuming. I seriously thought you were gonna like Pendulum Summon or something. A nice, powerful Klee monster. Should be summoned Klee monster can do wonders right now. Nah, not really, because he might make Ignister next turn and it, that that's level 8. Unless you could tribute summon 3 for freaking uh, your Sky Base or whatever its name is. I forgot its name. The tower that's not a tower that no one cares about. It is Sky Base, I think. Yeah. I know the Japanese name is Colonel. <laughs> Alright. Is that expensive, powerful kind of demise? <laughs> Set all your hand, draw three. Go plus two. Not even pot of greed gives you a plus two. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, Emperor, did you draw a monster? No, you, you at least turned the one back row. At least summon a monster? No. All right. Another card, demise, and your sacrifice. All right. <laughs> cool story, bro. Alright, so hopefully you have the back row to hold Zane off. I, I have a feeling that Zane is going to kick your fucking teeth in. Alright, going to go ahead and activate that magic drain. He's, he's just monster. like, nah, I don't need it. Alright, activate another one. It doesn't matter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Hella resources. Plus, 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 plus. I forgot what he added with the duality. Did he, add, did he add strike? Uh, or did he add the magic drain? I feel like it was strike. Okay. He didn't add the magic drain, that was for sure. Okay. Oh, no, it was the laser clip. It's right there in the field. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Duh. <laughs> It was on. Oh yes, I knew it wasn't magic drain. I saw him for that. <laughs> uh huh. Draw two picture and I'm getting night. Yep. Still got resources out the ass. You could try to punch on summon. I can't guarantee you're gonna get it all off. Trying to draw them to them twin twisters. Where does uh? Oh, did summon the. Go summon one face up. Go Slayer Monster from your extra deck. Oh, okay. Alright, Pendulum Scales are set. Pendulum Choke. A one. A two. -hoo. A three. Strike. <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he blew it. <laughs> blew it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Game drums. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, so now what, Zane? Death. All right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You have a normal summon this turn. Yep. Pendulum Rising. Tag it out for a sorcerer. Pop and get more pluses, I guess. Oh, you're gonna summon one of your Draco Slayers. No, sorcerer. Alright, normal summon. The luster. And is it time? Is it time for Ignister? <laughs> Looks it. Ignister! <laughs> oh, I don't even know what this card does. Recreate. Monster is supposed to summon. I always have a higher section again until the end of the turn. Also, banish it when it leaves the field. Alright. If it's. Uh... Yep, so. Ignister is negated. Till the end of the turn. He'll fuck you up next turn.
now he could just summon some Cleese and their effects will be negated till the end of the turn, which means that there'll be 24 to 28 beaters if that's anything else to pull off. I mean, you can't get over that mister. So hopefully you have something, Emperor. Like, I don't know if you opened up that. It looked like you opened up that. I've seen a single Klee monster out of duel. <laughs> Ah, so is that why he grabbed the laser clip? So Reclate won't die? Because if there's no Klee card on the field except for Reclate, send this card to the graveyard. Alright, so he's going to go ahead and activate uh, Paladin to summon that uh, master that was sent to the extra deck from the Synchro Summon back to the field. Because a nice couple of attacks, and that would definitely be game. Emperor over here is thinking. Do you have a response to that? You want to play another Solemn Strike? No, oh, Chalice. Switch ah. that boy to attack. Shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Bring that ass here, boy. Ouch. Yeah, <laughs> 2250, so... Barely only life ones left. What you drawn to us on strike? Is that game? Yep. <laughs> Scoop. Scoop. Alright, go ahead and pause while I go into game two. Be right back. Alright, people. Back at it again. So, into the bully draw. Set the whole bunch of back road. Play your monster, cut it demise, draw he some more. upstart as well. Oh, of course he used upstart. Keep on opening up his fucking upstart. <laughs> Number generator is getting stupid. Uh, don't you hate when you draw into a card of demise with your card of demise? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Emperor, now, now let's go. Ah, then you just open up with fucking Skullcrow Red again. Anchor again. Strike. I'd strike it. I'd strike the shit out of that. Or Forbidden Chalice if you got to swim and do it. Yeah. Damn, he said okay. Ooh. Nah, nah. nah. Do with that warning though. That card's also at one. Now you play your monkey board because I know you have it. <laughs> no, then. Just gonna. Just gonna set a couple of cards. Yep. Damn. <laughs> so I don't know. That, that, the Forbidden Chalice though. Putting it seems like it's putting that work, whether it be for offense or defense. Because he could use that offensively, too, to negate the Klee Monster's effects to the end of the turn. I mean, they would go up to their original attack plus the boost yeah. to 400 and yeah. then stay permanently at that attack. I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing that's why he runs it. Because well, it's, uh, it's good in two situations. Yep. Right. <laughs> He's like, it's better than Fiendish Chain. Up. Even though with Fiendish Chain, you can have stealth return your Fiendish Chain back to your hand and then reset it. Like, freaking Trails Pleady style. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Zane really needed that, uh, that Joker, I guess. Wow. All right. Well, the blind. The blind MSC. Strike. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Never look. The blind MST. Strike. Oh, Vanity. Nice. Damn! The Antler to interest oh, me! Woo! Never mind. Get the that back row out of here, boys! <laughs> Great. <laughs> Grand Horn and MST. Okay. Oh man, he actually hit the MST last. Oh, time. there it is! I was waiting oh. for that! I told you! Oh, it's not a generator! <laughs> that was crazy. You're like, what the fuck? Like, you, you wouldn't believe it if you didn't see it with your own eyes! Mm. Oh, nah. poor, poor Emperor. Mm -hmm. His back row wiped. So, not only did he get fucked up by some twin twists and some MC, clear your back row, which is something that <laughs> replicates, but then the monkey board play. <laughs> Rubik just turned off the video, I bet you right now. Rubik just closed the video. Damn. Hey. Hey. <laughs> That's how you clear up the back, bro. It's pretty, pretty balanced. Alright, oh. people. So we're going to go ahead and call that for this episode of DM Do Commentary. So, thank you, Luna, for joining me. No problem. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and see you guys on Thursday with some more DM Do Commentary. Alright, thanks for watching.